playing that lay down music. <laughs> It's not so right. It's your show. I was just waiting for them to. Oh, is that fully right now? All right, so check this out. <laughs> To each and every single one of y'all, it is the end of our audio festival. Give yourselves another round of applause. Yeah! Out! Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Give my partner, TK and the AM, Tasty Quiche, a big round of applause. Yeah! Yes, indeed. She was definitely the brains behind this particular event. And um, give a shout out to everybody that was a participant or a vendor or what have you, just give them a round of applause for doing their thing and making this such a vibrant and a tremendous event here on a rooftop in Brooklyn. How many times do you get to chill out on a rooftop in Brooklyn with some good people? Good drink, good food, and just good vibes, right? Right on, right on, right on. Right on. <laughs> As you know, I am Cooley High. I host the Tuesday and Thursday show of Coney at Comic Cooley High. And um, it is a fun show. I would encourage you to check out all of our shows. But if any show you want to check out, you like being a tastemaker, you set trends, and you find that new music, that good music, that music that makes you feel good and moves your soul, regardless of what genre it is, tune into Cognac Time, and I'll tell you what it's all about. Yes, sir. Right on. So without further ado, I want to get into this conversation with this gentleman, this cool cat that I've known for Quite some time, man. Quite some time. Quite some time. He's um, he's formed a band called the Rhythm and Stuff, and um, I've known him to be one of the baddest places. And simply is here in New York City. He goes by the name of Lex Sam. Man, how you doing? Yeah, we're gonna share this one. So you're from Australia and you came to the States. Why New York? <laughs> it's the capital of the world. But the only reason to come, right? Well, it's not the only reason to come, it's the greatest reason to come. To be around like-minded uh, musicians, creative lads, geniuses everywhere. That's why I'm here. Yes. Absolutely. And um, you were playing since you were on Shirley, and you just brought your skills here and just intensified it so much. Now, you know, you played with Blitz the Ambassador, right? Yes. You played with Ellie Goldie, right? Yeah. You have also did the Late Night Show. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Yo, give it up to a man who's done the Late Night Show. He's right here with us. Show it. Show it. Now, let me ask. What are some what are some of the uh, the highlights of your career thus far? No, it's, it's not a you know the longest career just yet, but it has so much momentum and potential to be that long and great career. What's some of the highlights that you can just really brag about right now? First, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um, I think for me, like you know, we, we, we both done gigs around town, out of town. You know, the, the light, light show with Redman was amazing. 
and so much that I'm harmed with my, my dad, who I know is listening in from Perth right now. Give it off for dad. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we used to watch that. We used to dream about coming here. So for me, that, that's a big one. But um, recently, you know, it's all about playing my music and, and getting to create um, great music with great friends like Mr. City Driver right here on drums. And, uh, you know, just push the envelope as far as live electronic music. I think that's that's what I'm enjoying the most and looking forward to the most. Right on, right on, man. And um, as far as electronic music is concerned, because there's a lot of, um, I don't know, there's a lot of uh, 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 sentiment, interesting sentiment towards electronic music when it comes to musicians that play actual instruments. And have you dealt with a lot of that sentiment, or are you forging your own path where you don't even have to see it? Or I mean, is it something that you constantly deal with when you're going in and out of towns and doing gigs? I think the interesting thing for us is that we're not quite EDM and we're not quite live. So we're a, a blend of the two. And I think EDM in this country, you know, I'm from Australia, I grew up listening to um, electronic music from the UK, like late 90s stuff. Um, a lot of those drum and bass and electronic pioneers will use live instruments. So, you know, it's a bit of a revisit to, to what they do. Um, I think here, you know, the, the, the conception of, or well, the misconception rather, of EDM is it's all button pushing and it's all pre-recorded. And I, I do have not the buttons, but there's a, you know, there's a lot more going on than that. So for me, it's about, you know, it's about making it live and, and improvising and seeing how, how far we can push the technology, push each other with technology. Yeah. Yeah, man, and he's talking about the lights and the knobs and whatnot. There's a lot of lights and knobs on this board right here, I gotta tell you. But it's all, it's all so attractive and sexy. It's actually very sexy. You should see this. Look at this. <laughs> this is nice, this is nice. So, about your personal life, right? Yeah. Not much of a personal life when you're doing this sort of thing, is it? Uh, no. No. <laughs> but this is the personal life, this is the love. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get into something. What's that? Okay. We're going to get into something that we love to do for a few moments. And um, what, you, right, what I see you love to do, and it's something that I've started to do when I've started to form in uh, with projections. Yeah. Tell me how that evolved and, and what does it mean with the rhythm itself? So uh, I was fortunate to meet a genius from Charleston named Christian Hammond, and he's at the back there. Hi, Christian. Give it up, Christian. And uh, Christian is a, is a 3D uh, visual projection mapping whiz. Um, you know, for me, I, I guess anyone experiencing a show, you know, it's, it's more than the music. Um, and Christian's really captured a lot of what I like visually. You know, his, his performance is as, as important and valuable as ours. So for me, you know, to have him there, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing for me is I never see it, because I got my back to it the whole time. But, but I always catch the replay and I'm like, damn, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky to have met Christian and, and um, have him collaborate with us. He's killing it right now, you know. Oh yeah, he's, he's the unofficial official member of the band, but he, he kills it with everybody in New York. He's the, 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 the guy to go to. I wish I love you, bro. <laughs> he's amazing, so you'll see it tonight. Cool. And, and showmanship, I mean, this is a part of showmanship that I'm a, a huge fan of. You know, a lot of, and, and this is something for you guys that like to see live entertainment, you know, big up to, to LA, man. She, she gave a hell of a show. And, 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 what, what we miss, what we miss on the performance circuit is showmanship. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't have to do this shit, but I did. You know what I'm saying? I did because it's part of the showmanship. It's part of making the close of the BFR, the Bonfire Radio Audio Festival, that impactful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we got Lex here. He's about to do his thing. So, are you guys ready? To I'm ready. I think we can show all the lights. All right. Well. This Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to get yourselves ready. Conscious about to hit the lights. Stealth. Sit down. <laughs> Relax. And turn it up when you need to for Lex Sadler. Yes. And Rhythm and Stealth. Yes. 